Welcome to January 10th, 2021. This was supposed to be a year of fresh beginnings, and while I spoke last week about grieving the things we lost in 2020, this past week I think we've lost something possibly more relevant to anybody on at least a global scale. I think in the US we lost our dignity, and I for one lost the last bit of trust I had in what was going on in our government. Seeing the riots and the Capitol building being overrun and watching the person who was supposed to be our leader encourage and praise that violence, that senseless death of one woman, the injuries of multiple people that were trying to enforce the law, the lack of being able to bring order to our country, the floor and the offices being desecrated in for senators and Congress people, all because one man refuses to believe that he couldn't be reelected. Now, I think for a second I need to step back and continue where this goes. Because I had a conversation with somebody this week that compared what happened on Wednesday, January 6th, to 9-11. But I think January 6th is the conclusion, at least I hope it is, of something far more severe. 9-11 was horrific. I remember exactly where I was that day. I remember watching the towers fall on TV, and that day was more like a horror show gone horribly wrong, but it was so surreal and unbelievable it was like Hollywood had outdone itself in special effects. What I saw last Wednesday was different. Because at least with 9-11, there was a rallying of the people behind a leader, a president that was willing to stand up for people's rights, that spoke for the people. He was of the people. What happened on Wednesday was a couple tweets and a really telling silence. And others stepped up and asked and begged for action. This was not a leader. This was somebody who was acting like a three-year-old in the middle of a tantrum. And as a new citizen of the United States, I find this very challenging. But this isn't the only thing that has happened that I've found challenging. I'm a person of science. I trust science. And the continuous downplay of the horrors and the intensity and the magnitude of the COVID pandemic. Playing down the impact on our world that it's not really that contagious and convincing people that it's really a hoax and then culminating in a tantrum resulting in the desecration of one of the institutes that's supposed to be symbolic of our country to where news sources around the world were issuing from other countries terror alerts to their citizens who happened to be in the U.S., warning them to stay away from things. I grieve for what we lost on Wednesday. It's like the carpet got pulled out from under me and I hesitated to even record this, but I know I can't feel alone. But I want to speak for a second about the gems of light that showed up. There were a lot of people that stood up and condemned what happened. There were a lot of people that have called for peace and resolution. And with the final conclusion of confirmation of the next president and vice president of the United States, regardless of your political leanings, we have a path to move forward. And I am appreciative and happy that it's not the path we've been on for the last four years because that path has led to what happened Wednesday. All roads led to a tantrum, a Twitter, a 
the desecration of an institution. I have hope that we can move forward after January 20th. And for me, my New Year's will begin January 20th because I need to feel hope again in this country that I've adopted as my own. Because I need to feel that there are true leaders out there that are willing to stand on the principles and stand for the people and be of the people and representative. So whether you voted for them or not, I'm hoping that you too will see this as a fresh start because they may not be the person you voted for, or they might be, but it's got to be better than what we had on January 6th. Those are my thoughts. I would love to hear from you on yours. I know this is a very charged discussion, but stay safe out there, and I look forward to seeing you in what I'm considering my new year, January.